Magical healing sleep awaits in this bedtime story and guided sleep meditation for adults. You are listening to Return to the Witch's Cottage. On the cusp of autumn, your sojourn begins in an enchanted forest with days spent connecting with nature and crisp nights beneath a blanket of stars and canopy of sacred trees. In this timeless escape, you are given the gift of self-nurturing and care by three witches long sought after for their deep insights and sorcery. You spend many dream-filled nights in the cozy alcove of the witch's woodland cottage and relearn that magic exists within you. So cuddle up and prepare for this enchanted journey before sleep. It's time to dream away. I'd like to welcome you to Michelle's sanctuary. I am Michelle, and as you begin this beguiling escape, you may think of my voice as that of a dear old friend on this journey through time and space. I am here to remind you that your needs matter. You are the only priority right now. You deserve to feel safe and nurtured in this special time for rest and rejuvenation, free of any judgment. Let your imagination travel to the fantastical places that appear when the world is free of limitations. Your dreamscape is the place where anything is possible. In your dreams, you may be entertained and informed of what you deeply desire. You are free to customize this tale in ways that resonate with you and align with your whims and fancy. Let go of my voice at any time if sleep beckons to you. Close your eyes. And notice your eyelids fall like heavy velvet drapes drawn across picture windows. Your closed eyes help you go deeper into the landscape of your body. You check in right now and see how you are doing. Wiggle and settle until you are as comfortable as you can get. Come to stillness and let out a sigh. On this breath, you blow out any thoughts or feelings that do not belong in the soothing moment. They can travel on the night wind to the place things go when you do not need them. Purse your lips as if you are sipping healing oxygen through a straw. The air travels to the deepest parts of your soft belly and your rib cage rises. Your heart is open and your sternum rises on the wave of this breath as well. Open your mouth into a generous yawn. Make a sound and send the message to your body that you are tired and ready for sleep. And then sigh all the air out and sink deep into the comforts of your bed. When you have released every last bit of air, you inhale again and feel as if you could levitate and float to the most beautiful places on the planet. As you exhale, your windows open and your breath guides you. You drift above your mattress carried on a soft, tepid breeze that blows into your room. Your lips form a soft smile and as you drift like an autumn leaf, you sail on the breeze to the outside world. You soar up and up above your home towards a star-filled sky. 
the dim land below is illuminated by moonlight. For a moment you imagine being seated in the crook of a cantaloupe-hued crescent moon, peering down on the sleepy landscape below. And as you drift, you feel the similar feelings of hope and enchantment that led you to the witch's cottage at another point in time. The familiarity wraps around you with the feeling of a downy, warm blanket that once comforted you as a child. With a sense of safety, you are free to welcome adventure and know that wherever you go, it will all be okay. The summer was long and defied the high hopes you held for freedom and joy. Sometimes things happen beyond your control and the art of acceptance is given time to be fine-tuned. Sometimes the clouds get in the way, as Joni Mitchell once sang in dulcet tones. The clouds of this gloomy summer caused you to seek out the enchanted forest. Moments of disenchantment and unmet expectations reminded you something magical happens when you can no longer continue on the same path, when your need for light and joy becomes your utmost priority. At this point, it is no longer worth staying in the darkness. The beauty in the world and the beauty in you has been there all along but the mighty still gray clouds of the summer made you forget that the sun still shines on the other side. The final weeks of summer led you to return to the enchanted forest where the witch's cottage exists. The idea came to you in a dream brought by an ethereal fairy nestled in a crescent moon. Her urgent night whispers beckoned you to this forest of healing. You awoke one morning with a deep knowing that it was time for an escape. The stress and noise of the modern world had brought you to the brink. The only feasible solution was to immerse yourself in nature and to heal. You had made it to the last proverbial drop before the cup overflowed. You left on this mission without any concern for how long it would take. You would take as long as necessary to reconnect with yourself and to remember all the reasons that life is beautiful. It was near the end of summer when you magically landed and were welcomed by the three witches again who encouraged you to stay as long as you needed. For them, time was often irrelevant, and more attention was paid to the phases of the moon than to the ticking hands of a clock. You arrived with an empty velvet bag in your favorite color that was draped over your shoulder. This bag had a purpose, it was meant to collect moments. These moments would become lifelong reminders of how good it could be to be alive. The forest had always reminded you why you were gifted this life. To fully experience the sensations of being in your body and sharing your talents and insights. You came here to be the best version of yourself. To be forgiving and nurturing. And to know that you have done your best, even when you wished to do better. It took some time for the peace of the forest to settle into your bones. When the softness took over, you lived through each day feeling youthful and vibrant. 
your muscles remembered how to move through space with ease, as if you were weightlessly swimming through the crisp evening air. You felt weightless in the forest because you shed the weight of other people's opinions and the constructs of modern society. You could once again hear your inner voice in the stillness. It loudened each new day this compass that understood your life's direction more than anyone else ever could. Your powers began to glow and you could see the golden light shining in your heart's center as your passion for life reawakened. Beneath the light of the moon, your chest beamed like a mason jar of lightning bugs as your vitality returned. You revisited the purple-black damp floor of the forest for the last harvest of the lavender fields. You walked across the cool, rich earth of the woodlands and inhaled the sweet tobacco aromas of the forest floor. Perfumed by the minty aroma of evergreen trees, you inhaled the fresh air that felt cleaner than any breaths you had taken in some time. Every inhalation purified you from the inside out. You watched your body detox with every sigh. Thoughts like words typed in black on the breeze, traveling like a smoke trail through the canopy of trees before they evaporated in the sunlight. Your body began to remember, this is what it is like to feel good. The good feeling led to happiness and peace. You remembered your way through the enchanted forest, led by your intuition. Gentle tugs at your solar plexus were the soft reminders to turn here or there. On your first visit, the whispering trees led you to the heart of the forest. But now you no longer needed their guidance, as you were able to trust yourself with each step. A soft mist like a silver tall veil hovered above the forest floor and your bare legs. You felt the cool tiny droplets land on your skin like silk sheets. You returned to the white birch trees with their papery bark and slender strong trunks they reminded you about the balance of softness and strength, being delicate and yet fierce. At nightfall, the fairies would come out and dance in the air, lighting up the woods like a rainbow of silk lanterns. Their kaleidoscope wings would playfully flutter, bringing the reminder of the importance of fun. Distant memories of the enchanted forest appeared like vibrant layers of a scrapbook page. Your time in the forest was a solve that soothed the sparks of thoughts in your mind, like a cool bucket of stream water poured over the embers of a fire. When you arrived at the woodland's cottage, you found the three witches coming in from the lavender fields, having harvested the last of summer's lavender. The witches' talents could extend harvests and nurture blooms well beyond a typical season. The ancient stones and juniper with logs of the cottage appeared gilded in the late summer light. The thatched roof rose over the cozy dwelling like bales of hay stacked in a wagon for a hayride. 
the witches built their home to serve as a sanctuary. Every element in its construction offered a healing property. Juniper brought protection, peace, health, and love by banishing anything injurious to one's health. A red fox sat patiently outside the garden, as if awaiting your arrival. The sprightly animal has long held spiritual meaning in Celtic beliefs, as having the powers of a spirit guide. He once guided you to the cottage, but just as the whispering trees have silenced on this trip, he let you find your way on your own. Your inner voice gathered strength this time around and replaced the need for guidance. The three witches stood near a whimsical fence of knotty logs that twisted like chocolate licorice and surrounded the garden. They hugged their arms around overflowing boughs of lavender and simultaneously looked up when you arrived. In a moment of silence, they took you in with their warm gaze. You knew from their empathetic eyes that they could see deep into your soul and were eager to tend to your needs. And just like on your first encounter, you felt a sense of trust that goes lifetimes back. Their kind faces glowed in streaks of afternoon light that surrounded them like a halo. And just as the first time you met, their presence conjured childhood dreams buried deep within the sacred vaults of your memory. These dreams insisted that you had met with them many times before now. Cora, the most energetic and youthful witch, always dressed in emerald green and black velvet, came to you first. She hugged you against the bouquet of lavender you inhaled the soothing fragrance. Cora's powers were known to heal all things, whether they were physical or emotional or mental. Whenever you were in her presence, you feel your life force and energy flowing through your veins. Your attention always turns to your pulse and vitality your body is always covered in a wave of warmth. Ava, the middle sister, often dresses in a ruby and purple robe. Her special powers focus on love in all forms. She remained in the garden area with Carla, the eldest witch, to sun-dry the lavender. Carla, adorned in royal blue and gold, often looked to the world in a dreamy trance, as if watching the layers of time that only she could see. Carla didn't just see the present moment. She saw all moments of the past and possible futures existing and playing out in different trajectories. Carla could heal past wounds. She created spells to set seekers on the path for their best possible futures. What was it that you most sought when you returned to the witch's cottage? Whatever it was, your healing began slowly. When you took away the expectations for it to be a fast process, you forgot about the process altogether. Your days became a series of early mornings, awakening in a cozy alcove to the sounds of chirping birds and rustling leaves in the forest. The last days of summer poured light into the uniquely shaped windows of your dwelling and 
particles in the air danced like gold dust around you. You rose each morning feeling deeply rested from dream-filled sleep that helped you heal. Before bed each night, Carla would read ancient passages about the passing of time while you gathered with her sisters around a fire. After these gatherings, your dreams became vignettes that blended like oil pastels on a canvas, colorful, artistic, entertaining, imaginative. The answers you sought on this expedition came to you unexpectedly and spontaneously throughout the day in whispers carried on the fragrant forest breeze. You worked each day, helping to gather wood and draw a fire beneath the cauldron. You fed the animals and the black cat named Solomith who would rub her shiny fur against you as if she owned you. You learned nothing was to be wasted. Scraps and refuge would be renewed into something useful, be it for a spell or the most mundane of life's necessities. You spent days listening to twigs snap beneath your boots when you foraged for wild berries and items in nature that the witches requested. You hiked atop a mountain at sunset and felt your chest heave into light as you gulped the mountain air with a sense of triumph. With this time in nature, you forgot about the things that once worried you. They seemed so insignificant and useless in this timeless landscape. You remembered what you thought life was supposed to be about. No longer could gadgets or modern constructs get between you and taking care of your most basic needs for survival. Rugged at times, it also felt luxurious. You were granted the luxury of freedom, quietude, and harmony with your environment. Each day, the witches would brew teas and draw baths with wildflowers and local fruits and herbs from their garden. The smells were intoxicating, and the flavors were complex and told a story. The sensations and outcomes from each nurturing bath and tincture, each meal and tea, made you feel fantastic. At times you wondered if the love and passion they put into their work were enough to heal you. It had been so long since so much energy was focused on you. You made sure to return the favor by helping out each day in any way you could. A circle of love and appreciation formed around you and the three witches, and it would often become visible at night. You would see the soft amber glow around the four of you when you gathered in the clearing by the cottage. It was a sphere of light that felt warm and soothing. At times it caused your scalp to tingle and that energy to flow down your spine and over your skin like a soft massage. Marmalade sparks would fly from the bonfire towards the dark silhouette of treetops they would float towards the silver stars, create a mosaic of silver and gold. And this was one of many moments you collected in your satchel for safekeeping and to remind you of the light whenever darkness creeps in. You learned that nature is the gifter of opulence. The fairies would draw towards your nightly gathering 
and dance across the sky like fireworks on the 4th of July. Cora would be the first to join them in a spontaneous dance, to a rhythm that only she could feel in her heart. He would feel the desire to be silly and dance as well. This is how she helped revive you. Ava would hold her heart and sway. Her heart was a vessel that could feel and contain all the love of the forest on those nights. And Carla would watch and sometimes wave a hand over the fire. You and the other witches would gather around it and become quiet. The flames would rise and lick the night air, rich like honey. And visions of the past and future would appear in each flame. You saw versions of your younger selves dancing and happy. And then you saw yourself well into the future. Dancing and happy as well, yet different. And while all these versions were unified with the person you were in the present, this observer in an enchanted forest, they managed to speak to different parts of you. Carla helped you remember the parts of yourself that you deeply loved and lost along the way. She opened your eyes to the person you longed to become. In the rhythm of the morning walks and nightly fireside dances, you became more of yourself. Your body healed and moved with fluidity, free of inflammation or pain, free of worry or self-doubt. You trusted yourself infinitely, and trusted that you knew all you needed to know, and would learn all you needed to learn when the time called for it. It is now your last day that you walk along the sparkling brook that runs through the whispering trees. You feel a longing to return to home with all the knowledge you have gained. You yearn to give your life another try as this new version of yourself. You walk on the damp earth covered in morning dew. The leaves have begun to change, letting go of their verdant hues to transform into shades of magenta, mahogany, fiery orange, yellow, and gold. Beneath the jewel tones of early autumn, the morning dew droplets glow like crystal balls. Carla, the witch of time, has told you how the light changes this time of year. As daylight hours wane, the sun is more golden and rich, like waves of clover honey poured over the forest. The dewdrops sparkle and act like prisms, and you hear Carla's voice carry through the forest. Time is but an illusion, my dear. Images come to life inside each droplet, and you are suddenly standing in a field of memories. You taste a sweetness on your tongue, like melting chocolate or a drizzle of caramel. You swallow and feel a warm wave travel down your throat and soothe you deep within. The morning air is the chilliest it has been since you arrived at the witch's cottage, and you relish this internal warmth. The field of memories is simple, varied, and pleasant. You remember your favorite places in nature, your most beloved people and animals, activities that you enjoy, the feelings you felt when completing a goal. You walk towards a knoll that is layered with a carpet of colorful leaves covered with morning dew. These droplets contain memories showing the first time you experienced things. 
Your lips form a smile and you inhale the smell of sweet autumn leaves because you realize there are many things you've tried for the first time. It makes the idea of more new beginnings feel empowering and inspiring. You think of the things you still wish to try for the first time. You walk down the stream and follow it to the cottage where you will enjoy the last afternoon with the witches. You look to the cerulean blue sky to see the squiggling black line of wood smoke that weaves between the canopy of colorful autumn leaves from the chimney on the thatched roof. You walk up the creaking stairs and enter the cottage to find the three witches setting the table for an early dinner. Tapered candles flicker on the long hand-carved wooden table that is centuries old. The witches prepared your favorite meal and its comforting smells fill the open space. A roaring fire warms the room and adds a percussive crackle and pop. The kitchen is basic and functional and contains a cast iron wood stove and wash tub. The long velvet gowns of the witches make soft swooshes as they dust the wooden planks of the floor. They invite you to sit and then join you Together, like a family, you enjoy the meal. This is another moment you wish to place in your satchel for safekeeping. It is a reminder that you may be born into a family, but your life's journey is abundant with opportunities to create your chosen family. Baby pumpkins and ornate gourds from the garden scatter across a lace tablecloth. Ava brings your favorite dessert and sets it in front of you. Carla lights a tiny candle with the flame of a tapered candle on the table and places it in the sweet dessert. The witches form a circle around you and encourage you to blow out this candle to celebrate your new healing journey going forward. You look into the sparkling eyes of your dear allies in this world and consider the role they have played and the changes you have made and the future you desire. You look to Cora and remember to dance to move your body, to remember how good it can be to feel this alive. Ava's sweet smile reminds you to love. Love may conquer all, and so may light. Carla stands and wraps her arm around you, and you feel her velvet cape against your cheek. You smell her exotic perfume. She reminds you that you may not control time, but you may always control your choices through time. You may always give yourself the chance to heal. You take in a deep breath and blow out the candle. You feel yourself believing that anything is possible when you set your mind to it. But even more importantly, this time for serenity and peace has informed you of what you may want to experience in this life. It has realigned you with your inner compass, the guide that you've always most needed. After dinner, the witches sing and dance and you join them in what has become a routine. You move your body with the bliss of a toddler first learning to dance 
You feel the freedom to move for the sake of feeling good and alive as Cora has taught you. It's been a long time since you last felt self-conscious about anything. The wind whips around the cottage with the chill of a fall night. You hear the sound of a distant loon cry out, and the melody travels through the enchanted forest. And over the sounds of the witches dancing and singing, when you can dance no more, the witches prepare a sleeping tea made from the lavender they harvested the day you arrived. The tea is brewed with chamomile flowers that float like lily pads on the silky liquid. You take a sip and taste honey and the floral notes of the soporific blend. It makes you feel even more relaxed and tired. Come morning, you will be returned to your bed at home. But on this last night, you may relish the sanctuary in the woods. And dream the dreams you were meant to dream. You say goodnight to the witches and retreat to the familiar hidden staircase that spirals around the back of the cottage. You have memorized every creak and soft groan of each stair. You ascend the stairs to the cozy alcove beneath the angled thatched roof. The light of a full moon pours into the diamond-shaped window above your bed and casts the room in shimmering light. On this night, you encounter a patchwork quilt that is a gift from the witches. Without you knowing, they magically sourced fabrics that have been part of your life's journey and craftily stitched them together. Worn plush material from a beloved toy, your first blanket, your favorite shirt, and other joyous articles now create the most beautiful and softest quilt you have ever seen. You bring it to your nose and take in the familiar sense of your life that have brought you the most peace and moments of intimacy. Only you know what they are. Yet somehow the witches brought them back to you. Your name is embroidered at the top of the quilt in a beautiful handwritten script. You run your fingers across it and smile. You have promised the witches to return the kindness and love to others in your waking life when you begin a new day. You change into a cotton nightshirt that is soft and cool against your skin. You peel back the heavy quilt and climb into the plush bed. Your sleeping alcove is as cozy as a hollow in a tree. Each night during this expedition, you have slept deeply in this healing pod and dreamt the most beautiful dreams. And each new night, the dreams only got better. You take in a deep breath and contently sigh. Your body sinks deeper into the bed and your eyes close. The autumn wind stirs leaves that have landed on the thatched roof. And its sound reminds you how much you... And the sound fills you with gratitude for the warmth of the cottage. You let go and surrender to the dreams that will guide you to magical lands and deep peace. Drifting and floating between worlds, you are ready to cross over the magical bridge to where deep, healing sleep awaits. And I am going to count you down. You may let go of my voice 
and drift to sleep. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, peace, finding stillness, finding sleep. It's time to dream away.